Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to use some advanced uh, editing features that are available in Photoshop. So I've created a new document, and I'm going to use some text. doesn't matter right now what font you've selected. As you can see, this font uh, is way too large. I'm going to just go to the text panel and fix that. So character, and it's 700. So you might have to fix this on yours. Probably not, but... There it is, and then when I press enter, you'll see that it's just a quite large font. Um, how do I know what size the font is? I look up here, and I can change it to a smaller size. You have to make sure the text selection tool is on and that you're on the text layer. You can also bold. Here, are, here is the font. So if you want to quickly change the font, you can select this and just go through it. I'll show you in a second. So I'll just write uh, my name, Mr. Dubot. Okay, and when you want, if you need to move the font, you have to select the Move Font Tool. So I'm moving it right now, putting it back in the middle. And uh, as you'll notice once I select this, it's no longer selected. I have to reselect the text font and then select it again. So now it's selected. Uh, what I'd like to do is add some layer styles. So there are a few things. They're sort of the basics. Um, First thing we're going to do is add a stroke. So a stroke is that look around a font that kind of makes it look uh, like there's been a line drawn around it. I'll show you what I mean. So when you go to stroke, you'll notice this is the color. Well, if I already have a black font, I need to pick another color. And you could use a cooler uh, swatches that you've learned. So I'll use red just because it's contrast and you can see immediately what that does. In this panel, you have a couple of interesting features. You can increase the size, which is something I often play around with depending on the font. On this font, it does not look good. Um, you can also work on the opacity. And you can also add a gradient if you prefer. Okay, and you could use one of the gradients that you've created. Okay, so there you go. So these are some of the neat things that are all hidden in these panels. And I'll leave it to just regular. And when you're done, you have to click OK. Um, I'll go back to this, and we'll add a bevel. So bevel means kind of like a little edge. So it kind of looks like it's rounded. You see the little rounded effect you have? There's a couple of uh, different effects. I like chisel hard. You can't really see it on a small font, but when you enlarge the font, you'll see it way more. So we'll go to smooth. You can also add an outer bevel. You have a different look. Emboss sort of emboss is even more rounded so you know you can play around with some of these uh, different features and you can even say at what angle this is coming in at and again you have the size here you can play around with that and one thing I want you to notice all the effects I have added are available here so you can see what they look like so you can add on more effects uh, one other really commonly used effect that you should always use with text. But just putting text in the Photoshop is like, that's really lazy. So I would recommend like a drop shadow. So what is a drop shadow? Basically just a shadow. Mr. Ray, if you're in the building. Okay, so let's go to the drop shadow. But notice here I clicked on it, but I don't see the settings. You have to actually click on it to see the setting, settings. So the opacity is a little low on this. I'll increase it to 100. You got to check because once you change these settings, they don't always stay the same. Uh, distance, see what happens. Like if it's too distant, it does not look good. Um, the spread is kind of like, well, the spread of the shadow. So you can play around with that. And the size as well. Okay, so these are all some of the features you can use to customize your text. Outer glow. Um, can't really see it on this here, but. Uh, Turn it off. See, you don't really see it with this font, but it kind of creates a, a, a glowing effect. What I'll do is let you play around with the others, and there are some really neat ones here under bevel and emboss. You can change the texture, so we'll go like this. That does not look good, obviously, but sometimes you know there's little tricks like that you can use. Like that one could look neat on some types of font. It does not look good right now, so I'm going to take it off. Same thing with contour. You can add a specialized contour if you click on it. Um, again, doesn't look that good on that font. 
So those are some of the layer styles that you can add to font and to make your uh, characters much more interesting. So if you have any questions, don't be shy and ask me.